Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Player of the Month Almiron card to review. Uh, this card actually looks interesting, I'll tell you why. Uh, they actually gave him some pretty good stuff, right? So he's five foot nine, high, high work rates, left footed, four star skills, they four star weak foot. However, in game with this card, guys, you can rotate him into the right mid position, center mid position, as well as the cam position too, which is definitely a huge plus because with a card like this, it is a card that you can potentially use in any of the attacking areas. If you're playing like a 4-1-2-1-2 setup like I showed you guys in the video just before this one, he could potentially be a very good attacking oriented center mid as well because listen, this card, once we give him the engine chemistry style, right? The engine chemistry style on this bad boy. Look at what he looks like in game, right? So the engine chemistry style is going to look like this. It's going to boost his pace. His dribbling is going to be in a very good area. Base card stats for shooting in the main attacking positions could sometimes be low. Sometimes. The reason why I'm saying sometimes is because 90 shot power is a very helpful thing to work with because you're going to work for high percentage strikes anyways, right? Base card stats for passing also going to be improved. He has some defensive capabilities while working with a little bit of physical. But the main thing here is the four star, four star capability while being someone who has a high, high work rate, right? So it's really nice. He's also left footed because you can rotate him into that left sided position starting off from right wing. So in this case, you can see that I have Gio Jota. I move him to the right side, I'll mirror onto the left side, and it'd be really sick, right? Um, but yeah, in game with the engine, he's definitely formatted really nicely. Good pace. Finishing is low. I'm not going to say that it's not low, but you can work with it. You definitely can work with it. Long shots uh, is lower as well. In-game player Tracy has long shot taker and speed dribbler. As you guys know, unless EA does some sort of patch in the future with the outside foot shot, those shooting stats will still be fine for outside uh, outside the 18-yard box, outside foot shots, right? So uh, base card stats for passing, like I said, is going to be in a decent area. Dribbling, considering the fact that he is five foot nine at a lean body type, definitely interesting as well. But yeah, generally speaking, the card looks pretty cool for its own variables, right? Obviously, with him giving some Newcastle links, if EA decides to do any sort of Newcastle cards in the future, that'll definitely be a pretty sick card to work with, right? So in-game, guys, um, we're going to be using the new 4 and 2 and 2 So let me go set that up real quick. Yeah, so as I said, guys, the 4 and 2 and 2 that we reviewed uh, from before from Tom Stokes is going to be on the YouTube channel if you want to check it out. But for now... Uh, we're gonna be lined up in the four two three one as well as the four one two and two, so this is perfect because I can do this. See, I'll mirror on on that side. I'm actually gonna switch him to the cam position because I'm curious to see how he moves through the middle as well. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be the four two three one, and then we also have him in the four one two and two where he'll play in the left striker position with him being a left footed player. So um, yeah, we'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully, he's a beast. This guy has the Ronaldo card. What am I seeing? Did you buy it or did you pack it? Yeah, so far I don't mind that dribbling. Ooh, get it the pass. Oh. Actually, a really well weighted pass. That's like super force, too. Oh, take it. Ruben Diaz. Where's my boy? Oh, he's already taken it. Okay. Let's go left side here. Nice pen. Nice. See, once you work that high percentage strike, it's not it's not terrible to work with, right? Because the shot power is there. The shot power being there is super important. I'm just testing on some of the quick dribbles there. With your weak foot, but still a good strike. But still actually a good strike there. 
Ooh, we hit the pulse on that one. No green. I greened that. I probably would have scored it. Oh, I should have made the extra touch there. Oi! Oh my goodness gracious, he got destroyed. Hmm, that one was rough. That one was rough, you could see that one. Yeah, gotta time that one for that to work. Actually, it does some defensive stuff so far for me, which is good. Sold him on that dribble right there. Is this speed up lag? What just happened? Yeah, I had a feeling. Oh, still doing it. Oh, we're good now. Disgusting, man. Literally have fiber internet. There, see? Gotta time the shots for more consistency, you know what I'm saying? He gets all body from that initial play, though, I'll tell you that much. Definitely got body there. Oh, close to the goalkeeper, we still score. Nice. Nicely done. Small touches. I'm on his left foot. He's got the shot power on it. No way we hit the crossbar. They definitely do a sensitivity thing to it. It's weird, man. It's a really good pass by Amiron, though. Take that defensive play. <laughs> what is De Gea doing? What is, my man is just... He's bugging. Try to get it there. I tried chip shots, but they're just not, they're not it. <laughs> they're not it, man. Now we get a foul out of it. I actually might be able to get a fake shot off with him. Let's see. And we do, nice. Very good, very good. Yeah, it's good that EA gave him the shot power. The shot power, it, it's what makes him more usable because you're going to give him an engine for sure. That's what I'm trying to do. Those are not the right angles, though, for the consistent ones. No, oh, good effort. Good effort. It is a long distance, and it's a finesse, so I don't expect those to work out like crazy. He'll be able to get them sometimes. Ooh! 
Oh, on the green too, eh? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's just, it's obvious. It's obvious. Like, I don't know what to tell you guys, man. It's obvious. Come on. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's obvious, bro. We'll take that, though. We'll take that. What? Uh, bad gameplay, good gameplay will be the death of me one day. Definitely, for sure. Uh, guys, listen, with Almiron's card, right? So the SPC is an SPC that's out for the entire month, right? So it's something that we have to take into consideration when we take a look uh, at the price of the card. So uh, when it comes to the in-game capabilities, right? So obviously, when you give this card the engine chemistry style, in my opinion, that's where he's going to be the most usable because I think improving his dribbling as much as possible is going to be super ideal to work with that five foot nine height at a lean body type, right? I feel like it's going to be very, very important. Uh, a couple things that you notice, obviously, right? When it comes to the left stick dribble, uh, Bernardo Silva, I can't wait until this guy gets a promo card. I can't wait. Because this card by default is already at 94 agility, 92 balance, and then 90s for other dribbling stats, that is very noticeable in regards to the in-game feel, right? Five foot eight lean body type. So Almiron doesn't dribble like that. He does have a little bit more of a physical thing behind his dribble. It's not horrible to work with. It's obviously it's obviously not as good as like someone like Bernardo Silva, though. That's why Bernardo Silva is, you know, absolutely fantastic to work with in that cam area. With a card like this. Uh, especially if you are a Newcastle fan, this card is 100% usable in this game. Really, really usable. Um, the main reason why is because they gave him 90 shot power, right? So you do have to work high percentage strikes as much as possible. You do have to work with time finishing a little bit more, obviously, uh, because 82 finishing in certain areas will be a little bit weird. But because they gave the card 90 shot power, you notice it being very, very helpful in game when it comes to certain strikes that the card actually ends up taking, right? But it's, it's when you come off of certain touches where it's like a drag touch or something, right? There's going to be less consistency, especially if it's angles kind of facing away from the goal. That's where you have to time them as much as possible for consistency behind it. But yeah, on an engine chemistry style, being able to boost this card's pace, dribbling, and passing capabilities to pretty much use in any of the attacking areas is super ideal. Now, with the way that this card feels in game, uh, in my opinion... I would mainly use him as the attacking oriented center mid playing in like a 4 1 2 and 2, 4 3 2 1 setup 100% because of the high, high work rates that he's working with. Um, but I would also play this card in the left attacking mid position. I do feel like for me personally, it'd be nice to have a little bit better responsive dribbling, I will say, right? That's why that Bernardo Silva card is amazing to work with. Uh, but I feel like it's a position that you can occupy if you really want to. 79 composure, also very noticeable in game because that, with his physical stats, it was noticeable when it came to him getting out muscled, him getting out bodied, that kind of stuff, right? So uh, is the SBC a little bit up there in price at 94K? It is, but it's a little bit different because the SBC is out for an entire month, right? So depending on what type of World Cup content EA releases and the types of fodder that you can unlock, um, I don't think the price is that horrible, right, for what the card offers in game. Like I said, it's very usable. If you're trying to work with uh, a team in the future where you're working with some Newcastle players, it could definitely be a very cool card to work with. Huge plus by EA side that they gave him a plus seven rating difference, okay? Because if this card was Portuguese, He's going into my team over someone like uh, Nuno Santos, right? Nuno Santos, I think, is super, super generic. I don't feel the same way about this card, right? Very nice that he's explosive. Attacking AI works well uh, when played in the right positions. So, yeah, I don't mind this card. I think he's uh, I think he's pretty decent. I, I don't mind the price too much. They overpriced a little bit, obviously, for in-game quality. But, again, it's an SBC L for an entire month. And it really depends on what type of fodder you get in the future. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.